Hello everyone, my name is Abbas Ali Zaidi and welcome to Open Plan Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we are going to go over uh, Open Plan Support Engineering tool. Uh, this is the newest tool in our Open Plan brand and uh, you can place engineering supports uh, uh, through this uh, tool as well as it works in integrated fashion with Open Plan Modeler and other Open Plan uh, products. So in today's uh, tech tip, we are going to go over some of the workflows and best practices on how to generate isometric drawings if you're using open plan support engineering to uh, create and place your supports. So let's zoom into open plan uh, support engineering model and let me minimize this workbook document here. So there are multiple ways um, in which we can generate uh, isometric drawings uh, for open plan support engineering supports. Uh, of course, uh, whenever we're generating isometric drawings, we're interested in uh, both the piping and supports together. So all the workflows involve uh, open plan modeler piping design as well as uh, support design in open plan support engineering. Let's quickly list down uh, some of the isometric workflows and then uh, we can actually actually see a few workflows in uh, action. So uh, starting with the uh, file based solution, uh, typically in our connect edition uh, file based solutions, uh, you can work with open plan modeler uh, DGN and do the piping design, uh, attach that DGN as a reference in your open plan support engineering design session and then create uh, the supports. Uh, all the piping information is uh, readable or recognizable when you're creating all the supports and then uh, once you're done uh, you can attach that open plan support engineering DGN as a reference in in the modeler uh, design session and then generate your in session isometrics and post these isometrics uh, uh, in project wise or project wise share or wherever your uh, shared location for isometric uh, for folder is so uh, this is uh, one of the uh, preferred workflow in our connect edition uh, you can also uh, use uh, i models. Uh, these are the old uh, i.dgn files, um, and uh, this was one of the preferred workflow in the earlier VTI releases, uh, where you could attach uh, OPM uh, piping i model, uh, not the design DGN itself, but the i model as reference in an op uh, open plan support engineering design session, uh, and uh, create uh, supports there. Uh, once done, you could publish a combined i model uh, from the open plan support engineering interface and uh, as needed I would, could open that i model file in open plan isometric manager uh, select the desired uh, pipeline or iso sheets and then generate uh, isometrics so um, you could also do that uh, in the in the connect edition but with the uh, in session iso in session uh, isometric generation available now um, i think the preferred workflow is to uh, create in session uh, isometrics so the third way you can uh, create isometric is uh, um, I mean, which is technically possible uh, to work on the same DGN um, for maybe for very small projects or um, proof of concepts. Uh, you just want to quickly uh, use the same DGN to the piping design, open up that DGN in open plan support engineering, do the support placement, and just use the same DGN for your in session isometric generation uh, workflows. It would be good to note here uh, that uh, besides the piping and equipment, also all the structural objects that are available in Open Plan Modeler as SMC components, they are uh, all uh, supported in Open Plan Support Engineering. For pro structure objects that can be imported in Open Plan Modeler via the ICM import and export functionality, uh, they can be used in um, Open Plan Support Engineering. For component-based solutions in Connect Edition, we have uh, most of the workflows uh, done with iModel Hub. For open plan support engineering, there is uh, uh, there are limited workflows uh, currently available, and we are working on uh, for completing all the iModel Hub workflows uh, in the future updates. Uh, right now, you could work on the same DGN in piping and open plan support engineering, and from the open plan model interface, you can check in all and uh, all the piping and supports data. Go 
go into the uh, iModel Hub, which can be viewed in the uh, web viewers and uh, other web reporting can be done uh, of that data. The isometric, preferably uh, right now, is the in-session isometrics in the uh, component-based uh, uh, solutions uh, as, as well. In VATI, uh, we used to support and still support uh, in the VATI applications Open Plan Model Server, uh, where you were able to do the piping design in Open Plant and do check in all your data into Open Plan Model Server. In Open Plant Support Engineering Design Session, uh, you could check out piping or area of interest by either checking out the whole area or a limited set of pipelines and then you can place your supports to all the detailed engineering support design there and then once done uh, from the open plan support engine interface check in everything back into open plan model server so uh, for generation of isometrics again there can be multiple workflows in that scenario you could connect isometric manager to uh, the same server and generate isometrics directly uh, from the server interface or alternatively uh, check out the desired lines in open plan modeler session and the generate in session isometrics when you do check out uh, all the support data uh, come out uh, as well so that was a quick uh, overview of you know some of the workflows again each of the workflow can be tweaked a little uh, to support your specific uh, project needs Okay. So for the purpose of today's demonstration, I will um, isolate one of the pipelines here, uh, the yellow pipeline, the 10 inch pipeline that we see here. It has a bunch of um, uh, hangers um, and um, some U-bolts and U-bolts associated with it. Um, so I'll first open up uh, this pipeline in Open Plant Modeler and then we'll see how we attach this as a reference in open plan support engineering and how the supports look like and how do we generate the isometrics okay so let me uh, go back to open plan modeler session so i've opened up the same model in open plan modeler uh, all the steel work support drawing the raceways uh, everything is attached as a reference let me isolate the pipeline that we want to work with and generate isometrics for so i'll turn off some of the um, references here so um, let me quickly do that So taking this out of the way, so this is the uh, pipeline of interest. As you can see, it has uh, some of the um, so it has some of the hanger assemblies um, and a few um, U bolts. So in, in the open world modeler session, uh, once we have the open plan support engineering supports uh, uh, file attached as reference, uh, we can just come into pipeline manager. We'll select the pipeline and uh, hit the generate isometric button. So we get this isometric generation uh, window at the bottom. Uh, that's typical of how the insertion isometrics are generated. And once the isometrics are generated, we'll just right click and do show isometrics. This will open up the um, isometric drawing in another session. And zooming in to see that we have these supports here and our U bolts on the isometrics labeled and dimensioned. So, in this way, you can quickly generate uh, isometric drawings uh, for the supports that are placed in uh, open plant uh, support engineering so in today's session we basically listed uh, some of the workflows that are available uh, for open plant support engineering and isometric drawing production and as, as i stated earlier depending upon your uh, project configuration and the workflows that you're implementing uh, you can implement one of these workflows to suit your uh, isometric drawing production needs. Uh, I hope uh, this was helpful. Uh, thank you for watching Open Plan Tech Tip.